So I'm up here in my vegetable patch. You can see the strawberries have seeded out. My purple sprouting broccoli is there, asparagus there, raspberries on the far side, more strawberries over there. And I did an experiment this summer. These are the potato varieties. There's the black one. I can't remember what they're called, but I bought them last year and I planted a few of each variety in these barrels to see if I could get a supply, not to eat necessarily, but to seed on. And I seem to have done very well. I'm very pleased. There's a lot of small ones, which I can store over winter and plant as seed potatoes of all the different varieties. You can see this one has this kind of piebald in color. This is red. This is long. And then these black potatoes. So I planted in them, them in here, in these barrels, and you can see they're coming up, but they're small because of the drought. I would forget to water them in these barrels, but thankfully they've, yes, hello, yes, yes. Oh, you're stepping on poor oven mitt. Thankfully they produced enough small stock so that I could potentially plant a row of these come next year. You can see there's peppers helping out as well. So everybody's here as I'm digging in these barrels for my seed potatoes, because I really enjoyed them. And I just out of curiosity wanted to see if I could grow them. I mean, I could buy them from the wonderful farm that produces them, um, but I just was going to experiment and see if I could grow some as seed stock. So you can see I was successful. And they were delicious and colorful to eat. So why not produce them to make more for myself to eat? And if you don't have the space, you can buy them from the producers who make them. I'll put, I'll put the, um, who I bought the original potatoes for from to just eat uh, in the um, uh, piece underneath the title of this video about spuds in the garden. No, right. Yeah. And so everybody's here. I don't know where. Look at this. Oh. He's hoping that Brindle will learn how to scratch the back of his head. Oh. Look. There you go. Like the big fella used to. The big fella used to take his teeth, I've got mucky hands, used to take his teeth and go like this at the back of Oven Mitt's head. And he loved it. So he's trying to train She-Wolf to do this. But she hasn't learned how to do it yet, have you? No. no. Okay, I'm gonna finish digging up these. And what I've done actually is, this is a barrel I just did earlier and I planted some strawberry seedlings in it. I'll plant them out somewhere else next year, but it's a temporary thing for the winter. So, oh look, those two are, don't, I am there, get out of my purple sprouting broccoli. What were you doing in there? You're bold. Yes, you were bold. Everybody wants to get involved as I dig potatoes.